is up everybody? My name is Pilarius and today we have another episode of Moe Ninja Girls. As always, we will start with our free gotcha box of the day. Of the day. Of the day. <laughs> and I can guess what we are going to get, but let's pretend it's a surprise. A regular bomb. Hey, look at that red old coin. What a surprise. <laughs> I was actually hoping for power recover because we have 70. It'd be nice to make it even 80, but that's okay. We will get right into the story because that's the most important part of these videos. Stare. Well, this is awkward. I forgot where we left off. Mm-hmm. I see. <clears throat> Refuses to answer. Meaning, we may still have a chance, perhaps. Ahem. 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 <laughs> what? All right. Time to kick it into high gear. Whatever. What is everyone whispering to themselves about? I don't. I just don't get it. Yeesh. You're just no fun at all, you know that? Well, I'm just so sorry that I couldn't give you free entertainment. What? You know, come to think of it, you've been getting real cozy with Rika and Miyu lately, haven't you? Well, yeah, that's the point. Cozy? Like today, Miyu came looking for the two of you, didn't she? Yeah, you sure have been spending a lot of time together. Alone, right? Right? Now that you mention it, even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> it would seem, well, j just hold on. It isn't like that, honest. Like what? What do you mean? Hmm, come on, explain yourself. <sighs> Truth is, it is nothing like what Yamabuki is probably imagining. But I couldn't explain myself to Yamabuki, not without revealing that we are ninjas. I have to bluff my way out of this. Come on, think, think. Should I spend more time with you? Sadly, no. Rika and I are in the same class, so... Classmates. It's only natural that we end up spending time together. Exactly. We are classmates. Nothing suspicious. Really? Then how come you don't hang out with me, or Akari, or Inju, or Johnny, more? We're all classmates, yeah? But, I don't. I talk to Akari and Inju all the time. Oh, I do. Duh! So it's just me, then, getting left out, being ignored. You're always busy. You don't want me to be part of your harem, P. Is that it? Um, no, what are you even getting so worked up for? Do you have a thing for me? <laughs> yes, y what? You? Scoffs. Nah, totally not my type. Then what? Why did you even... Uh, I, I don't even get you. Besides, right now, I'm having more fun just being at school. Being a part of the nin Ninja Seeking Club. So, well, I don't... I mean, I haven't thought about it. That's just so like you, P. You have a point. I suppose this current arrangement is satisfactory. Agreed. Classic P. I agree as well. Huh? Guess that means everyone's just as tight with P as I am. No more, no less. What? Great, you're one inch closer to Rika. But it's still so far away. Now it's time to start Season 4, Chapter 6, Part 6 of 10. Hey, we might finish this chapter. I don't know about that. He said he was having more fun right now, implying things could change. Maybe... What kind of logic is that? Excuse me, P. Senpai. Miu says, tugging at my sleeve. It seems she has something she wants to tell me in private. What is it, Miu? Fu Senpai has detected the voice of that owner. Really? Seems like we finally caught our prey. 
That's odd. I thought Mia would be more excited to share this news. She sure doesn't look it. Is something wrong? Yes, there are other voices as well. The owner appears to be in the middle of some kind of commotion. A commotion? What could it be about? Mew, Rika, and I leave the club early to search for the school's owner. As always, Fu is perched atop Mew's head. I decide to ask him a question. Hey Fu, just what part of the school is the owner in, anyhow? Mmm, well it's a little hard to explain. Best to see for yourself. If you say so. We seem to be close enough. I guess we'll just have to do as the rabbit says. Alright then. Rika, Miu, let's go. Rika? <laughs> hmm, what? Are you sure you're okay? Rika definitely doesn't look it. If you're not feeling well, just say so. We'll walk you to the nurse's office. Fine, I'm perfectly in health. What? You say that, but you sure don't look it. No best, own condition. <laughs> Rika shoots me a piercing glare as she says this. If you say so, just tell me if you need some help. Lending you a shoulder, a hand, whatever. It'll be no trouble at all, so don't worry about that. Understood. She's blushing. <laughs> Good, then let's get going. Fu leads the way, and we arrive at the school's pool. Since it is in the middle of club activity time, the poolside area is full of members of the swimming club. What is that man doing here, leering at us like that? I don't know. What a creepy pervert. <laughs> Hear that, P? Referring to you, possibly? Now it's time to start Season 4, Chapter 6, Part 7 of 10. What are you even saying? That can't be right. I must disagree. They're more likely speaking of that man over there, not you, P-Senpai. Where? Oh wait, I see him. He's right in front of us! <laughs> Grumble, where is that stupid thing? The swimming club said, girls, they are all so frightened. You must do something, Senpai. Me? Absolutely not. I want nothing to do with that old creeper. The owner is either stupid or oblivious or both. Why in the world is he here? Completely ignoring the glares from the swimming club girls, the owner stomps around the poolside area. Looks like he's looking for something. Should we ask him, perhaps? To be honest, I'd rather not. We should just watch from here. Like peeping toms? <laughs> Who would ever want to peep on an old man like him? Odd. It has to be around here somewhere. We should get, go get a teacher. Have them take care of this highly suspicious man. No, just wait. We shouldn't do anything to agitate somebody this suspicious. You there. Yes, you too. Eep. Yes? <laughs> Why are they curvy swimming girl club girl? <laughs> Don't just stand there. I command you, unlock this door at once. Absolutely not. That's the girl's locker room. It's locked for a good reason. Help! Somebody! Anybody! Get somebody in charge here! Ignorant fool! That is me! I own this school! I am the one in charge! Yeah, right! A pervert like you? The owner of the school? Someone get a teacher here! Quick! <laughs> Tiny swimming girl? <laughs> yes, yes! Good idea! Help! Pervert on the in the pool! There is a pervert in the poolside area! Such insolence! How dare you slander me so! It is starting to feel like this situation will take care of itself. I do believe so. Humph! How could it be so hard to find? It's supposed to be enormous. What could he mean by that? Good, the teacher is finally here. Catch that sicko. Please, hurry. Grr, I've wasted enough time here, but you haven't seen the last of me. He's making a run for it. Should we pursue him? No, let him leave. We don't even know why he was here. Besides, I've had enough of him t for today. Still, I can't help but wonder what the owner meant by his parting words. How could it be so hard to find? It's supposed to be enormous. That is what he said. The owner is looking for something, it seems. Something very large? I 
think we should report this to the principal, just to be safe. Should we include the part where the owner abused his power to brazenly oogle the swimming girl club? I don't know. Maybe we should gloss over that bit. What do you think, Rika? Dot, dot, dot. Gee, thanks, Rika. <laughs> Rika, are you alright? Oh. Uh... Oh, boy. Now it's time to start Season 4, Chapter 6, Part 8 of 10. Abruptly, Rika collapses on the f Collapses? What? Oh, jeez. Rika! Rika-senpai? Rika, are you okay? Speak to me. Rika-senpai, please be well. Rika-senpai. I quickly take her pulse. Thank goodness, she's alright. Just sleeping. We have to get her to the nurse's office. Let's see. I carry her by myself, in my arms. That's a heroic thing to do. Okay, up you go. <laughs> Putting an arm under Rika's knees and shoulders, I lift her up. Hmm. Rika might be out for a while. Let's get her to the nurse's office. Dot, dot, dot. Something bothering you, Miu? Jealous? Oh, uh, um, no. It's simply that way in which you are carrying her, to be held so. It's every girl's dream. Damn! <laughs> what do you mean? Like a princess. You're her Prince Charming. Get a room. <laughs> oh, Foo said that. What the hell? Will you stop? Now is not the time for your bad jokes. Fine, fine. Get a move on already. <laughs> right. Okay, Rika. Just hang in there. I say to Rika, even if my words cannot reach her now. Still, after telling her so many times not to overdo it, why didn't she listen? Didn't she trust me? Sigh. Idiot. <laughs> Good thing she can't hear me. We carry Rika into the nurse's office. By this time, the sun has already begun to set. Rika still isn't doing any better. I suppose we should just let her rest. Peace, Senpai. I shall go out and buy some fried noodle hot dogs for Rika Senpai. Ugh, that's gonna make her even sicker. I expect she will be quite famished by the time she awakens. Good idea. Rika will probably be very happy that you did. Alright, then I shall be off. With that, Miu happily skips out of the nurse's office. She is no longer the shy and timid girl that we once knew. It could be thanks to that time she spent in the ninja seeking club, or because she finally got over her fears not too long ago. Either way, it's a good thing for her. I just wish Rika didn't have to pass out right afterward. You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Not an idiot. Oh, crap. Rika, are you awake now? Naturally. All that noise. Can't even sleep, even if desired. Oof. I hope you learned your lesson. Just lie down. Try to get some rest. No, fine now. Ignoring my suggestion, Rika sits up. She looks right at me. For whatever reason, there seems to be a tinge of fear in her eyes. Upset now? Sigh. Of course I am. Do you know how worried we were? What did you do to make you so exhausted anyhow? I already told you. Was training with Master. That isn't it. She wouldn't push you this far. Leave you so tired? Dot dot dot. No, there has to be some other reason why you're this tired. So go on, tell me, now. I say, a little more forcefully than usual. It seems to convince Rika, who finally speaks. Didn't just train with Master, also did secret training alone. But whatever for? Lost to Tenge, <laughs> was frustrated. Never again, want to lose, besides. Too many losses, and maybe abandoned by you, P. What? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Seeing you broken down and passed out from exhaustion, that's worse than a million losses. Take better care of yourself, got it? Or or else, I might really get angry. P?
Great, you're one inch closer to Rika. We're finally getting closer. Now it's time to challenge the checkpoint. Oh man, we need 40 jewels. And look at that, magically we have a hundred jewels. <laughs> Thanks to PayPal and my one dollar in my account, I was able to afford a hundred jewels for 99 cents. Alright, so let's get the premium story with the red arrow against evil amulet for 400 jewels. That might even help us in ninja fighting to get better wins. Alright, let's move on to Season 4, Chapter 6, Part 9 of 10, Premium. What the... Rika latches onto me, taking me completely by surprise. Too soft. <laughs> Something's a Rika. They press against... They press up against me now. P, thanks. N no need to thank me. You so unnerved? Why? I I'm not. I'm not nervous. No one. Not one bit. T I tell myself a true ninja would never be shaken by some contact with fluffy mounds. <laughs> um. Or er, what I mean to say is, is that I don't think any less of you just because you lost. I wouldn't abandon you. Or anything like that. Honest? Yes, and I mean it. Back when I was a ninja, I might have made a heartless decision like that. But I'm just a normal student now. Besides, I remember when Miyu got kidnapped. We couldn't have saved her without your jujitsu. Tenge-san might be very strong, but still, there are some things that only you can do, Rika. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Rika is gazing deeply into my eyes. Why is it something I said? Pete, you need me? Yes, of course. Oh, jeez. Glad to hear. S so happy now. She says, then squeezes me even more tightly. Um, er. Thanks so very much, P. R Rika? Her face grows ever closer, and Rika shows no signs of stopping. Any closer, and we'll... Oh, P. Wait, Rika, just... Mmm... Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Gently, Rika closes her eyes. And we got a photo from Chapter 6 Premium 1 and 2. And now it's time to start Season 4, Chapter 6, Part 10 of 10. I don't think we have story tickets. <laughs> so, cliffhanger number 2 for this episode. We will finish out this chapter in the next one. This was a crazy story, not because of the story, but because of the circumstances around the story. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you liked that episode. And I will catch you guys and girls and everyone in the next one. Peace.